Hello viewers on YouTube and welcome to Reliant Stadium. It's week 13 and hey, welcome New England Patriots and Tom Brady. They're 7-4, and four. we're 10-1. and one. It's a matchup of two pretty good teams, so uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, obviously, this is week 13 and uh, that means we skipped week 12 or I skipped uh, uploading week 12 uh, because... It was against the Jags. It was it was actually a pretty good game. I actually had 200 yards rushing. Yeah, it was kind of wild. I had like a 70-yard touchdown run at one point. Um, it was an okay game, but we pulled away at the end. It wasn't really close. It was like 30-something to like 19. And uh, yeah, so improved to 10 and 1. And now we're gonna take on a team. That uh, has a very good quarterback, Madden-wise. Has not had the best start in the 2014-2015 NFL season. But, we all know he's, uh, he's always going to be pretty good on Madden with his ratings. Um, but actually, my Bengals are going into Foxborough this Sunday night to take on the New England Patriots. So I'm excited to watch that. Um, I'm a little nervous because it's a bounce back game for the Patriots. Uh oh. Yeah. Which uh <sighs> you know, they just don't they don't lose consecutive games very often, and especially, you know, when they're going back to their house. That's where they make statements, you know. And a lot of people I find it interesting. Uh I've been listening to, I, I, I listened to First Take, you know, uh, Skip, uh, Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith. Um, I really like that show. It does get a little, there are times when the show can wear on you, but, you know, and I've heard this from multiple analysts. They've been talking about Brady, and, you know, of course, we all know that he is struggling thus far this year, but, you know, what they're, of course, uh, you know, they're analysts. They're trying to come up with why, and, uh, you know, I've heard this multiple times that that the uh, he does not have enough help uh, in receiving corps, and I just find that crazy. Oh, the pass comes! Up. Oh, oh, oh! Am I hurt? I'm just laying on the ground. Oh, I got up! I got up! So that pass, I actually had my man. He had a little bit of separation. My man was. If that pass would have been on target, it would have been a pretty sweet play, but. It wasn't because of the hit. The pressure got to me, and it uh, didn't work out well. We down it <laughs> inside the 20, but not very much. But uh, I find that kind of weird because this receiving court, including tight end Gronkowski, is just as good as last year's, except healthier. You know, you've got Danny Amendola, who is healthy right now. He's a pretty solid receiver. You have uh, Julian Edelman, who's pretty solid uh, uh, produc production-wise right now, even. He's actually producing. Uh, Julian Edelman's the go-to guy. Maybe uh, too much so right now for Brady. Um, you've got Gronk, who maybe is still recovering a little bit from injuries, as Julian Edelman makes a nice catch there. Um, but you've also got uh, Kimbrell Tompkins and... Uh, uh, Dobson and those are two receivers who I would describe them as solid number three receivers they're talented they're not polished they're solid number three receivers uh, maybe average slightly b below average number two. Oh, look at the stutter step by Steven Ridley gets the first down um, but overall you put all these receivers together it's quite a deep little squad that uh, is pretty talented and uh, but I think the obvious problem, ooh, overthrow, obvious problem with the New England Patriots offense is their uh, offensive line. And, you know, they don't have Logan Mankins, who uh, was just an anchor. I mean, the dude uh, was a leader on that on that O-line and, and very talented, very good. And, uh, you know, now they they have injury on the line and stuff. And I, I think it's pretty obvious Brady just does not have any time to do anything. Unlike there, where he had plenty of time and kind of threw it at the ankles of the defender. It's kind of an awkward throw. So it's going to remain zero all through these uh, few drives here. Oh, no. Well, down to some of the 11. So we'll get a shot here to 
have a 90 yard drive. Not going to start with a toss though. No, 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 reset, reset, my bad. Come on, come on, we gotta get this off, we gotta get this off. Okay, that turned out alright. That's a decent play. <sighs> this is, I think, a good opportunity to take a shot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send my outside receivers. And, uh, see what happens here. That, yep, that was too much of a bullet. That pressure got there and uh, kind of messed me up on my on my stick. I mean, not on my stick, but on the on the button pad. Mashed down that. Uh... Goodness, great. Ugh. I mean, that was tight coverage. It tightened up as soon as I threw the ball, but I didn't want to throw that ball like that. I wanted to lead him a little more, make him reach out, but. Brady will start in great field position. Terrible start for me this game. I've got to pick it up. I've got to focus. Do not want to be handed our second loss of the season. Though this is a worthy opponent. You see that? You see those, uh, the tattoos on, uh, Brian Cushing there? <laughs> on his left bicep. Yeah, they look like little little puppy pr paw prints. Oh man, Ridley just takes it for the first down. It puts a first and goal from the five for the Patriots here. And uh, sure, Brady Brady likes that. Like a play action. Handy there. I think that would have been a good play action uh, situation. Let's see what he does here. He's got a got eye formation again. Hands it off again, and Ridley's got a hole, and he's got a touchdown. And the fans don't like it, and I cannot like it, because that is a, uh, the result of my turnover. Uh, it's unacceptable. That was terrible. Well, we've got to pick it up. We've got to, If we're going to win this game with this offense we're playing against, we have to pick it up on our side when we're playing offense. Our defense can only do so much. We can only hope for some opportunistic turnovers. Um, but other than that, we've got to be opportunistic on offense and have opportunistic scores. Uh, oh, look at this. <laughs> kind of an awkward return, but he gets the job done. Puts us in okay field position. Better than, you know, around the 20 like it usually is. Get this to the inside. It could be a decent first. It is. It is a decent first down run. <sighs> And maybe Foster's the key today because this secondary is good. You got to keep in mind that this uh, this Patriots secondary, uh, albeit a, a rough start this year for them in real life, pretty talented squad, of course. But everybody knows that they added Darrell Rivas, but uh, it's, it's a nice squad, and uh, that's why I'm kind of nervous because to me, uh, oh man, you got to be kidding me. Whoa. Let's see what happens here. I was trying to find a receiver. I'm trying to figure something out. I guess I could have just ran around and then I got stuck is the problem. He came over with that move. Oh man, I got destroyed. Luckily we held on and we can punt, but this is a just awful start. That's gonna end the first. But to finish my point, that's why I'm nervous about this game with the Bengals. It's, it's prime time. The Bengals are notorious for being bad in prime time. It's the Patriots at home, a bounce back game. They have talent. Um, they have talented receivers, obviously quarterback, running back. They're secondary. They have Vince Wilfork. They, they have a pretty good defense, I think, uh, on paper. And uh, the O-line's the only thing that's... that's I, I think is a real weakness, but uh, the defensive line is a real strength for the Bengals. The entire defense is, so uh, maybe that'll pull us through, but I don't think they're a team to be taken lightly. But I need to stop talking about 
that, I think I need to focus, especially when I'm on offense. When, when we're on defense, I'll get that pick, J. Joe. We need it. So luckily, the defense holds there. A huge hold. Um, I have a pick and a fumble. Luckily, not not a lost fumble, but uh, definitely need to pick it up. Going for it. Probably, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's a play that I like to use against cover four. You attack deep. That wasn't the throw that I wanted at all. Once again, it's not the type of speed I wanted, but that's a, that's a play I like to use a lot. You run that screen and you end up with a big, big play. But, uh, man, this is... All right. Gotta focus it. There's no way I'm running this. There's no way. It's just not gonna happen. We had Gene there. Oh. How could he overthrow him that badly? How can I do this? No. Are you kidding me? Blah. Oh, and there's. There's a beautiful punt. Let's just give it to him on the midfield logo. I mean, hey, why not? Brady steps up, but the pressure gets there, and the ball's rolling to its target. Oh, we need to stop here. This is not a good game for me. And uh, Tompkins, Kimbrell Tompkins gets taken down there. Making it third and three, very convertible. We could, we, all right, great play. Great play by the secondary there to come in there and knock the ball down. Goes out of bounds, is it? No, it's not a good punt. It's better than getting the, giving the opponent the ball in midfield, that's for sure. Oh, that closed up quickly. That looked like it was going to be okay. Negative 31. Influence things, whatever it's called. Wait, did he just drop that? I mean, really, of all the stuff that's happened today, you can't just make this catch. I, mean, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> oh my goodness, it hit him in the numbers. Andre Johnson just straight up doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. It's like one of those days. It is just one of those days. Ah! Oh man, I don't know what to say about this. Jeez, a lost fumble, a pick, two fumbles total. J.J. Watt gets a big hit on Brady. Bro, oh, <laughs> that would have been the most gorgeous pick ever. That would have been like that Richard Sherman uh, NFC Championship game pick on drugs. Nope, nope, I'm going. Oh my! You... Ah! I can't take this nonsense. Look at this great defense. It's double coverage. Gets batted. Oh man, Kimbrell Tompkins just gets a gift. A gift that falls from the sky into his hands. We're down 14-0. Uh, we're in desperate need of a score. We, this has to be a one-score game going into the half because they get the ball at the half. So, uh, I don't know. Something's got to happen. Let's just look. I mean, my quarterback rating is zero. I'm one for seven with a pick. It's just not a <laughs> not a good day. And in the shortened game format, where I'm playing, you know, I, what is it, five, six minute quarters? I don't even know. Um, you can't have that kind of deficit. That's that's huge. That's like a 21 point deficit in a real game. You know, 14 points is big. Play action to try to get something started here. 
Uh, sure hope we can find someone. We've got Johnson. Yes, no overthrow, no drop, no pick, no fumble. Just a good play call that actually worked. And gave me an easy throw that I didn't screw up. Yay. Foster spinning in place, goes nowhere. He's back to the line. And that'll bring up second and nine. And that's one that I tried to float. I wanted to float it downfield. What I should have done was use the right stick and made him go downfield to get him uh, outside of that zone. So even if I did throw it hard, still would have been a good play. Solid play. We desperately need another shot. We desperately need a turnover. Like, I just need to get this. This is a good defense. And I'm playing badly, so, uh, thank goodness. And there's Mankins, who they have here, of course, because this is last year's roster. Which will be updated in the new mod. Stay tuned for that, everybody. If you could have even possibly made it this far in the video with with my with my play today this is just oh man this is unbearable they're just trying to run the clock down so we need to call time out if we make a Relatively short stop here. Yep, come out, come out, definitely. So force him to just run the ball and make us use another timeout. And uh, take a chance here. We'll take it, take another shot at scoring before the half. Short return. It puts us in good field position, though. So we're at the 40. We have. We still have a timeout. And uh, I'm over a minute. So check down to Foster, who does some weird backwards turnaround, like he's on a motorcycle thing, going through a turn very quickly. Didn't really see the need for that, but I've got Daniels at the sideline. So he had a. If he was smarter, he might have just ran out of bounds, but. Hey, he needs to be smart. It's crazy. Just, that was bad by me. Shouldn't have backed up that much. Got Gene, which makes this convertible. We have to hurry, though. We have to hurry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I almost want to just try to run this ball if I have room on the right so I can get out of bounds. Because I know for sure that I will going to have got some room as well and get out of bounds untouched I also did that because if I could have turned the corner there I would have been gone at least for a quick really no no Not even the, the fans uh, what there's 16 seconds let me throw the ball to the end zone oh come on coach I was starting to get a rhythm well, we put points on the board. Unfortunately, they don't mean very much. Ah, 
disappointing half to say the least. To say the least. We're gonna have to play lights out, defense, and offense to win this game. So the Patriots lead the Houston Texans at the half. 14 to 3. And let's check these beautiful stats. Uh, showcased here wonderfully is a 19.1 passer rating by Johnny Jackson. He has a 38% completion rating, zero touchdowns, and a pick, and has compiled a massive 53 yards. Yeah, it's just, uh, our running game looks good <laughs> until you look at the fumbles. The two fumbles. Yeah, I mean, whoa. See how Brady's looking. Looking all right, other than completion percentage. Doesn't have too big a yard, too big of an amount of yards, but you know. Yeah. All right, this is where our defense has to step up. We have to have a stop here. We have to have a stop. Nice, nice coverage. Big hit. And the crowd's still in it, trying to keep us alive here, trying to keep us pumped. Brady's got all day. We just can't do that. You have to get pressure. We need a JJ Watt to get to him. We need a Brooks Reed or Brian Cushing to be sent on a blitz or two or Whitney Merciless to get in there and just pressure him. On the run, Ridley. He has a 15 yard gain or whatever. Oh, we can't. We can't stop anything. Oh, seven yard run. I mean, we have to be able to stop something. This is awful. No pressure, even though he's stepping way up and has plenty of time. We just can't. How come I don't get that protection? If I did that, oh, I would be hit for sure. If I did that, I'd be hit for sure. We need a pick. Come on. Second and ten. No pressure. Good coverage, but no pressure. All right, third down. They're one for five on third down. High snap. He takes a hit. But delivers a perfect pass to Danny Amendola. Oh, God. Come on. We can't do anything. Oh, my goodness. Something good happened to us. <laughs> I mean, he, he even should have been lit up behind the line there, but juked right, then spun inside and... You know, at least got it back to the line. A little completion there. Doesn't do much. But whenever you're uh, going for the touchdown when you're first, second, and goal, and it's nice to have a little room if you're throwing the ball at least. But they're running it, and now it is third and goal. And I would guess, this is just me, that Tom Brady would uh, have a play pass dialed up for him here. Pass play. See what he does. Touchdown. And Belichick, who looks like a cardboard cutout of, uh, oh, I can't think of his name. The, he used to coach the Lions. <laughs> I can't think of his name. Ah. But, yeah, you know what I mean. He seriously just looks like a cardboard cutout of him. Uh, Jim Schwartz. That's right, is that right? I wish I had some, you know, stats and information people that I could actually ask for references. Yeah, is that right, Bob? Okay. No, I don't have a Bob, unfortunately. I wish I did. Have some drunk Minecraft, which I'll be playing after this. <laughs> Let's see here. Definitely. I thought that was going to be picked. I'm just so scared with every throw. I definitely need some drunk Minecraft. <laughs> After this kind of game. Oh boy, 21 to 3. Just not good. Not good at all. 
Gonna run, gonna not get anything. Ran out of bounds. No gain. Maybe we've got Andre. We've got Andre, finally! Yes! Yes! And we beat Aqib Tlaib, so take that. Oh, man. That felt good. Alright, let's just do the same thing, then. Except maybe not to... Maybe right here to Foster, though. Foster! Oh, with the spin! That went backwards. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Whatever works for you, bro. Dan is a stay in homes. What? Why did he stop? What? Why did Andre Johnson stop? What is his deal here? Okay, so he's running, and I'm thinking, hmm, you know, got a little bit of space to throw here, and then he's just like, no. yeah, let's just go over here where these two two guys are. Just stop here real quick. Why in the world would I want to put... Oh, God. And it's third down and bleh. I need to get in the shotgun so I can have time to think. Let's go. They're going to send some, like, corner blitz and stuff. I'm hit, but Daniels catches it. Yes. I used the stick. I knew I was going to take a hit. I did not have time to check any other progressions. And so I said, he's got... A little bit of position. Let's just <laughs> kind of use the stick over and throw it behind him. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. God. <sighs> we can't waste any more time. Come on now. I think I have a touchdown. Whoa, I'm surprised he got a hit on me, but I still have the touchdown, so. Makes it, what, an 11-point game? Well, are we going to go for two here to make it a 10-point game? Well, why not? Why wouldn't we do that? I mean, there's not much time in this game. We're going to probably need the... I mean, I guess we can go for two later. I guess there's always that. You can always go... Yeah, yeah, okay, that's why. Keep the suspense going. So there's still a chance. And uh, if we get a quick stop, we're not out of it, you know? We'll get to go for two if we score a touchdown. But a turnover would be wonderful. I just don't foresee this offense being stopped without some kind of crazy turnover. So we can't get pressure. Great coverage on the wide receiver's screen. Amendola has nowhere to go. He loses two yards. That's a good way to start, but it's always about finishing on third down, no matter how many yards they have to go. It'll be third down and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brushing up on my counting skills. I was correct. All right. They do a draw play. I thought he was going to juke and spin and animate his way out of there for a first, but he only gains three, and we will get the ball back quickly with a three and out, which is great for us. If we want to have a chance to come back. We needed that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh, man, this is not our game, is it? It's just not the day for us to... <laughs> it's not our day at all. But Jones, it's his day to make that catch there as a fullback. Fullbacks don't get that chance much on the little running back hooks. Running back hook route. Mm. Yeah, I think we need to be a little more aggressive at this point, honestly. Sorry. Uh, I've got to just take off here. I've got some room. Whoa, I tried to slide. Hey, hey, I hit the slide, but I've been having trouble with that lately. I'm not hitting things early enough, but come on, come on, come on, come on. we got to get another playoff before the fourth quarter starts here. Got to be efficient. Time use here. I'm going to break out from that. No, you go over there. Yes, you go over there. You go over there. <laughs> Oh, man, I, the coverage is just great, so I'm having to try to get my blocks to hold up in the pocket and let me, just enough to allow me to escape. I mean, there's nothing for me to do. I don't want to throw picks. I can't throw into tight coverage anymore. 
just, it's not gonna work. I got Daniels across the field. That's one of those tricky things where they start running back and forth and switching zone, zone, zone. You just gotta finally find a spot you can throw it to them in between the zones. Um, pretty tough. Maybe we've got Andre. Oh, that was almost picked. Ooh, didn't didn't get enough on it, I guess. It just looked like he had a step on him or two. A step. <laughs> yes. Mmm. Saw that hit last second and thought, you know, why not throw a jump ball to our boy Daniels? That's the only chance we got. We need a touchdown here. We do not need the computer to decide to just kick a field goal for us. We need this. Maybe we've got a touchdown with Daniels. Touchdown! Yes! And Owen Daniels is beasting. He's bringing us back. He's the go-to guy. And he's just strutting off. He doesn't need to dance. He doesn't need to show off. He knows we're still hard at work here. And I don't know if I want this play action. I'm kind of nervous. This is too important. No, no, no. Reset, reset. Sorry, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. Oh, come on. I mean, really? Well, I mean, I guess that was within the five yards, but I did not think he was going to do that. I see this, and I'm like, oh, look at this. Look, this guy's standing still, and look, Griffin's got like a head start. He's sprinting here. He's like... He's going all out. He's going to have an easy touch. Mm, where, where was the line of scrimmage? The line of scrimmage was at the two. That's right at it. That's right at the five-yard limit. I could have been patient there, but I just thought, quick release, don't give the defender time to catch up. All right, defense, come on, baby. Come on, defense, come on. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Way to clean it up, Cushing. That would have just been really upsetting. To let him get a nice game. Not, not the first, not the first. He came back. All right, come on. We can still stop him here. Come on, D. Big stop here. Three and out. Yes! Who got it? I can't even... T <laughs> so, oh, man, this is huge. Who is that? Oh, oh, I mean, did I even need to ask that question? JJ. Oh, he's a beast. Look at that. That is those... Those, those are those superhuman plays you see on NFL highlights, and, and they are J.J. Watt. That's the guy you see doing that type of stuff. That is so cool to see on here. Just get somehow finds a way. He's just unblocked and just... Kill. He just destroys someone, and it's a game-changing type play. Oh. <sighs> gotta throw it away, gotta throw it away, gotta throw it away. Alright, yep. We don't want a three and out. Daniels has it saw him going to be uh, basically uncovered or just kind of played back off of. Um, so I'll go ahead. I went ahead and went for it. They're calling for a fullback dive, but I don't think so. Maybe we have Hopkins. We do. Is he gone? No, he's tripped up from behind and a great play for us. Come on, we've got to get this comeback train. It started rolling a while back. We just got to keep it going. Set. Blue. Oh, come on, Foster. Cut that to the outside. You have a touchdown. If you do that little juke move that bounces you to the outside, mm, I don't know, man. That could have been a TD. Great blocks on the edge for you. 
Awkwardness. I break free. I don't have anything, though, but I gain yards. Oh, that was... Oh, that was very nerve-wracking. We're in four-down territory, I think. I hope so. I hope they're gonna... Say this is four-down territory. Rolling on the bootleg. Oh, no. That was way too late to do that because my other receivers brought defenders over. HB screen. I just don't think so. This play has not worked very well. Yeah, I'm going to be honest there. I just ran way too early. I got nervous and saw a small opening and took it. That was just a bad decision by me. Oh, man. Huge missed opportunity there. Two minute warning, so we need, we have to have one more. I mean, we couldn't ask for a better defense this second half. I mean, wow, they've just, it's unbelievable. Just they, they, I, I was really nervous in that pocket though. Had they were pressuring me on all sides, I just wasn't sure. Oh man. Oh come on. Yeah, that's about it. That's gonna do it. Wow. 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 <sighs> I mean, might as well let them score a touchdown so at least we get the ball in our hands. We can go score a touchdown and then maybe get an onside kick because otherwise they can just run the clock out. Or maybe they'll run plays really quickly. I'd, okay. Doesn't matter. Even with them doing that, running plays very quickly and giving us chances. We're going to take a loss here. The defense just couldn't hold them in the end. Can't blame them. They put us in the position. We went down there, and I, on fourth down play, just uh, ran too early. Probably should have looked for a defender. I mean, for a receiver to, to get open. That's what I was worried about, that I was going to find a defender. Ah, too worried. Way too worried. So we are going to be handed our second loss, but I think it is positive that we at least figured some things out on offense and started to kind of look like a decent team towards the end. Um, you know, so that just lets us know that we'll still be able to compete with anyone. That that first half was just bad. That's just one of those days where you just. Nothing's going right. You're not playing well. You're not getting good luck. So it just ends up horribly. And my rating is 77.4, which isn't that good. But considering the start and 55% completion rating, that, that's pretty good turnout considering where I was. It really should have been better there. Had 87 rushing yards as well. Of course, Daniels with seven catches. And a touchdown. You know, let's see the defense here. And this is the big stat of the day for us. No sacks. I mean, come on. Patriots had three sacks on me. And let's see here. 
See how Brady look. Oh, Ridley had a great game. 127 yards on 20 attempts and a touchdown. Brady 13 for 22, 59% completion rating, pretty good. Two touchdowns, no picks, great. 163 yards, okay. 112 passer rating, pretty good. So uh, we get beat by the better team today, but we're gonna come back stronger. Hopefully we can we'll see them again in the playoffs. So they improved to eight and four. That's gonna be a rival for us, and we are at ten and two. So uh, definitely a chance that we'll meet in the playoffs. But uh, thank you for watching this, guys. If you enjoyed that near comeback, please like the video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, like I said, if you're not subscri subscribed already, you need to be because I'm going to give you updates on all the newest mods and whatnot, all the newest gameplays on the new mods, and of course all the other random stuff I do on here, which usually uh, involves me getting drunk and playing video games. But uh, anyways, thank you once again, and as always...